Hello, my name is Judith Rauscher. I'm architect and fire protection engineer, and I'm uh, working with evacuation teams about 10 years ago. Uh, now I would like you to present a part of my uh, PhD research. Uh, this is my first uh, comp conference presentation in English, so please forgive me if I make some mistakes. The evacuation process in hospitals may be very complicated because patients typically need help for uh, escaping. Uh, so this process must be planned carefully. Uh, but um, in Hungary, there is no guide for developing this uh, strategy. And also the evacuation drills should be repeated annually. This is not typical in hospitals. I think a computer-based evacuation model allows uh, the analysis of different scenarios. It looks like to be an easier and faster solution of decision-making progresses, and uh, they don't, don't cause practical or ethical issues. But how to use is this? I developed a case study examining, examining the evacuation of a surgery unit in more variations. The goal of the subject evacuation is to relocate, relocate persons uh, from one unit to the other on the same floor. Uh, it would uh, like to present, I would like to present uh, what special strategic issues needed to be decided in the case of a hospital unit evacuation. And I will also show you how this can be translated into the language of the Pathfinder model. Uh, for the case study, I draw the floor plan. Uh, you can see is a surgery inpatient uh, unit departments with two units. Uh, the A unit is have to uh, evacuate it and the B unit is a temporary safe place. Um, there are fire resistance door, doors on the corridor uh, which uh, are self-closing uh, and I think uh, it is not uh, easy to navigate uh, through them. Uh, especially with uh, an evacuation equipment or uh, crutches or walking frame. So I used the uh, waiting period uh, in the door parameters in the model. Uh, in my model, there are, there are uh, healthcare personnel and there are patients. I used four types of patients, as you can see in the table. Uh, there are um, uh, cane and walking frame users and uh, wheelchair or delivery bed uh, patients. Uh, I have to uh, set uh, some um, form, special form for them. Um, and uh, they have um, they have uh, different size, speed, shape and color in the model. Uh, in my model, there are 11 staff personnel, uh, 4 uh, type E patient and uh, 5 to 5 uh, type uh, B, C and D patients together. Uh, in every evacuation process is a period of evacuation time. People recognize and understand alarm, interrupt their activity and prepare for evacuation. But in hospitals, there are more other tasks to prevent the evacuation movement, the triage of patients, medical prepare if needed, the staff uh, are, arrives and uh, is returning, and the relocation time into and from the evacuation equipment. So this time is much more at the normal uh, building and uh, we have to calculate with uh, this time period. The triage system, uh, the goal of the triage system is uh, to save the largest number of patients. So the first uh, to evacuate is to expose the, to the direct danger and after that the rescue sequence starts with the less injured and the most severe patients remain until the end. In my model, 
uh, I appointed a responsible nurse to wait at nurse station until the end of evacuation. And uh, all staff go there and uh, only after 10 seconds wait start their rescue task. Uh, medical care may be necessary in hospitals, but not always. Uh, in my model, I don't calculate with uh, this time because it is a surgery department, uh, but not an intensive care unit. The staff movement times uh, depends on the floor plan, floor plan and uh, other evacuee. So it is calculated usually in the program and uh, not an input date. I used uh, some other delay time in my model. The staff uh, has an initi initial delay time in uh, its behaviors, uh, which covers completion of their all previous actions. This is a relative variable duration for which I found uh, in published dates. Uh, and um, I used wait time in patients' behaviors after they get the assistance, which covers the relocation time into the evacuation equipment. Based on my experiences, in hospital units, the worst patient staff ratio arises during night shift. Therefore, this is the worst scenario that can be examined. So, uh, in this study, I assume two versions. Version 1 uh, is uh, when evacuation becomes necessary during the daytime, when four to four nurses are working in the area in each unit. The version 2 is uh, when evacuation becomes necessary during the night shift, when only two to two nurses are working at each unit, and uh, for the evacuation, for the one-to-one one, one -one nurses from other units uh, will come to assist. I made uh, 20 reruns in each version and calculated the statistical values from the results. As you can see uh, at the table, uh, the evacuation time of the unit at daytime is estimated between 474 and 499 seconds. The bad news is that it is a bit more than the Hungarian regulation, which uh, prescribes uh, only 420 seconds for this period. Now you can see the video of this version. Um, the speed of the race video is eightfold. You can see as some patients go alone to the lunch, while others are waiting for assistance. You can follow as the staff goes back again and again for the next patient. The occupants stops for a while at the fire resistance doors as navigates through them. On this side, you can see the night shift version. Um, this is uh, with the same patient distributions and the same number of staff, but in night shift. So the estimated evacuation time is between 650 and 684 seconds. This is higher, uh, with about uh, 180 seconds. Uh, than in daytime. And you can see the video if the, if the, for the version 2. During the case study, 
I realized uh, what other ways uh, I can improve my model. I should use further evacuation equipments and several patient distributions. Uh, this significantly increases the number of variants to, do, to be tested, but it is necessary for a realistic model, model method. I think I should uh, use the change behavior func function also in the program to use better helpers time. As you see now in the video, uh, helpers for uh, type C are waiting in a refugee room uh, and uh, they are not helping uh, the type D patients. So I have to improve this uh, variant also. Uh, and uh, I think I should use men and women helpers because they have other abilities to carry the devices. For example, a stretcher needs uh, two men or four women. Um, and uh, I realized some development possibility for the program also. It would be great if there were more 3D animations uh, for example, for sticks, uh, crutches or walking frame users, for stretchers or transport chairs and so on. And because of the large number of reruns, it would be simpler if the Monte Carlo simulation could handle the required randomized comment, because here only the person's attributions should be randomized, but the positions not. And uh, where, do you, where we can use this method? I think um, there are some practical examples how to use it. Uh, the effect of parameter changing uh, an evacuation can be, can be simply examined. As in my case study, the only thing that has changed is the, that the same number of helpers come from elsewhere according to the day on night shift, and yet there is a three minute difference in the evacuation time. And um, the effect of changing many parameters on evacuate can be also examined because, after all, in a real situations, several parameters are constantly changing at the same time the number of staff, the number and type of patients, the type of evacuation, and so on. Um, I think it can be estimating the needed rescue personnel for one unit or one part of the building. So, so the manager should provide this number for in the evacuation strategy, specifying where one goes for an alarm. And the result video can be used for fire safety training also. And I think it will be much more spectacular than just talking about it, uh, especially uh, if uh, in the future we will, it will be combined with VR. So I think a model will always be a simplification, but with uh, accurate modeling method and uh, sufficient reruns, the results could be used for con construction planning and management protocols. And this method is easier as many scenarios can be controlled as you want without any ethical or technical program problems. So I am convinced that the simulation is a very good option to study um, and uh, to learn uh, the evacuation of a hospital. Thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have any question, please don't hesitate. Thank you. Yeah, so while we're waiting for some questions, I had I had a couple. So um, how did you determine the dimensions for the vehicle obstructions uh, in the model? I used uh, the dates of manufacturer and I used, uh, in Hungary, there are uh, fire protection um, technical guides uh, from the authority and uh, in these uh, papers are some uh, sizes to be used uh, for construction planning. Okay. So, uh, and the references will be in the conference proceeding. Mm -hmm. Great. And then um, 
Yeah, just a couple of of thoughts, comments. So you had mentioned in there about um, the profile switching or the behavior switching mm -hmm. uh, for the teams. I think that would be an interesting uh, exploration to see how that can impact it. Of course, more helpers would probably increase the time a little bit. Um, do you do you plan to maybe follow up on that or or look at that difference at all? And yes, I I will uh, make some um, other uh, changes to the to the facts uh, in my PhD. So this is all this is only uh, the first part of it. Great, um, and then that's why I. I try to to give some 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 uh, things uh, what i plan to do yeah and then the other thing too that you might try is the monte carlo capability now has mm -hmm. where you can fix position and re-randomize mm -hmm. parameters like profiles or you can randomize just the position and keep the profile so there's some flexibility mm -hmm. now that we've introduced recently so, so that might be helpful you are very, very uh, quickly with the development. <laughs> we try to. We try to help you get do be useful. Um, let's see if we have any questions here in session chat. Uh, Ian says, uh, in Hungary, is there specific staffing levels required in each ward? And are these supplemented in an emergency? And if so, can this be added to the model? Yes, there is a... Um, I don't know the best word for it. Uh, there is uh, some requirements for the hospital that uh, how many uh, staff uh, need to be in uh, in an ITSU or in a surgery uh, ward or, or different types of uh, hospital uh, um, wards. So uh, this uh, this um, number of staff in my uh, case study. Uh, is the Hungarian regulation. So about this uh, four, uh, four nurses uh, for, for about uh, 20 or 30 uh, patients. And does that change in an emergency situation? So if there's an evacuation... There is no, gui there is no guiding. Uh -huh. okay. There is no guide in Hungary for that. It is okay. uh, only for the normal situation. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Um, that that is uh, the theme of my PhD also to to make a guide for the hospitals uh, how to to make an emergency plan because uh, Hungary uh, has no no guide for this now. Oh, excellent. That should be really useful. Good work. Um, anyone else questions? Yeah, I'd like to. I'm looking forward to the uh, the end of your work to to see the output because I think it'll be very useful and and informative for other other people so. globally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to kind of help with planning. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. And with that, um, we'll wrap up and we'll transition to roundtables. So we'll see you there. Okay. Thank you. Bye.